Welcome to foodfeedinfo.com. In this video, I will uh, discuss about an Excel sheet uh, that is prepared uh, by my team uh, for formulating a concentrated diet for dairy animals. Uh, the same uh, sheet uh, was described in Urdu in a previous video, but uh, I have some questions or uh, some of the viewers they requested for English uh, version. So that's why I'm uh, going to uh, record this video again so that uh, the user who could not be able to understand the version they can uh, use this video to understand how to formulate or to use this excel sheet for formulating a dairy concentrate and then by adding a component from the roughage either in the form of green fodder or hay they are able to uh, formulate a total mix ration. Well, uh, when we talk about diet formulation, uh, we need two things. The one is uh, we should know about the nutrient requirement of that particular individual. And the second, uh, we should know about the available feedstuff and their chemical composition. So this sheet is designed so to provide both uh, things at a time. Here you can see uh, here is the sheet which is labeled at requirements here you can enter the body weight of that particular individual for which you are going to formulate a diet like the individual in question is of 600 kg so simply uh, from the drop down list you can click 600 kg so this animal is producing nothing zero liter of milk without any fat because uh, there is no milk production so it means there will be no fat so from this uh, you can see the dry matter intake of animal is 5.88 which is less than 1% of its uh, body weight and the maintenance requirement they are uh, energy protein calcium and phosphorus they are available so these energy protein or other requirements they are calculated keeping in with the value uh, given by nrc for host and frisian now if we add the amount of milk produced by that animal and then we have to add uh, the milk fat percentage and then we have to add the days in milk like the animal is in 100 days of milk production and if you want to add the milk sale price you can add here i have added in terms of rupee or uh, you can uh, change it accordingly like here we are selling milk at a rate of 120 rupees uh, then if animal is either gaining or losing body weight if there is a uh, gain in the body weight then you can add the figure of in uh, kgs uh, now you can see uh, the total requirement of the individual and then the dry matter intake that is 3.1 percent of uh, the body weight of that individual so this animal required 24.31 uh, kilocalories of uh, energy and 2.168 kg of uh, protein then 86 gram of calcium and 55 gram of phosphorus so the percentage of ration if we are going to formulate a concentrated diet so at least we should prepare a ration with 11.67 or 12 percent cp with energy content of 1.31 mega calorie so that ration when fed uh, in an amount of 18.57 that uh, will uh, that will fulfill the nutrient requirement of that particular animal uh, so the energy requirement there 24 mega calorie uh, per kg of the diet uh, that is the requirement so this is the first thing which i have mentioned to have to provide all the nutrient requirement so from this sheet you can calculate the nutrient requirement of a particular individual uh, with its milk production and milk fat percentage even you can add the milk price days in milk and uh, you can have the value uh, from body condition scoring either the animal is gaining or losing weight so accordingly uh, the requirement can be adjusted like in this case if animal is gaining weight and the figure uh, we should add in a positive if animal is losing weight you can just add with minus so in that case you will see the requirement become less the reason being the body tissues they are being mobilized and animal is using those uh, nutrient for their uh, milk production or uh, for their uh, growth if animal is growing at some time 
दिस इज अ कम्प्लीट डेटा सेट ऑफ फीड स्टफ्स मोर देन वन हंड्रेड फीड स्टफ्स दे आर अवेलेबल इन द लिस्ट विद देयर केमिकल कंपोजिशन इवन द कंसनट्रेट डाइट यू विल फार्मूलेट दैट विल बी हैविंग द कंपोजिशन देयर और यू कैन एड योर ओन फीड स्टफ फ्रॉम दिस शीट वी हैव वेल फ्रॉम दिस शीट वी हैव द एनिमल न्यूट्रेंट रिक्वायरमेंट and then uh, we have the ingredients which we are going to use for formulating the diet now come to the working sheet click on the working sheet here you can see there is a list of different ingredients uh, from the drop down list just click on the ingredient and then you can choose uh, whatever you want to feed to the animal like here in this case uh, i have shifted this maize into a uh, wheat grain and then uh, from wheat bran corn gluten canola soybean and uh, i can uh, replace this a uh, wheat with the uh, corn gluten meal uh, or castor seed meal like here corn gluten meal 30% that is already in the list so uh, we can go for some other feed stuff like soybean hulls uh, the next step is you have to add the inclusion level uh, like here i am adding the inclusion level just uh, you can say a rough values without considering uh, the dairy animal uh, problems uh, by feeding some excess or lower amount but here just i am giving you the guide guidelines how you can go for formulating the diet uh, so you have to add these values and uh, you can add like this so you have to add these values in the yellow uh, cell and then at the end the total should be of 100 so here uh, i will change this wheat bran with 15 now now only four more parts are required and that can be met through this so this is uh, the diet which i have formulated so now look at this column again the yellow cells you can replace or you can uh, with the new price here i have added the price of different feed stuff so you can change according to your own uh, situation uh, what is the price of that feed stuff i am not aware of your country so uh, when you are going to formulate you have to change the prices so that you can get uh, a price which is actually uh, related to your area now look at this uh, the value is 100 and this is what is available from this ration like me uh, this ration contain 227 mega calorie and this amount of protein in grams now next you have to add uh, the amount of now the next step is you have to uh, add the amount of dry matter intake here uh, the value is uh, from the nutrient requirement of the animal uh, look at this sheet this is the nutrient requirement uh, this Uh, animal require 18.57 kg of the dry matter so this is what is required i simply uh, add up the same value so this is what when we added we get 20.47 so 20.47 is actually on the basis of dry matter uh, value uh, that is converted into as fed basis so this is what is available from when we offer 20.47 on fresh matter basis of this diet and here you can see these are the requirements uh, which is taken up from the requirement tab by the sheet and this is what is available by feeding this 20.47 kg of uh, this concentrated diet so animal get 18.57 is the diameter intake so there is a zero difference in intake and available or uh, the requirement but when we look at the energy protein and calcium the animal is getting more than the requirement look at this the requirement is 23 and here is 46 so almost the double is available so now if you, your plan is to feed only this concentrated diet to the animal rather than feeding the roughage component you can use the feed stuffs which are lower in energy and protein or either way uh, the other ways to you have to reduce the dry matter intake like i should reduce into 15 and then the animal is getting 16 in this case and uh, there will be a less difference in the energy or protein as compared to the previous ration uh, but this is up to you how you can go for feeding your animal uh, because any if you feed 2 3 kg less than the actual dry matter intake it will be okay so 
this is a feed cost this is a milk income and then uh, this become the uh, total feed cost in terms of the price of the milk so this is 47 percent of the uh, income which we are getting out of the milk sale so that could be variable in their country and like this there are many other things uh, you can see from this sheet and uh, you can uh, go for using this uh, but the important thing is being a nutritionist we should go for feeding a roughage component as well as the concentrate in some countries they are feeding concentrate separately than the roughage but in uh, commercial dairy farming and most of the uh, commercial dairy farmers uh, they are actually uh, looking for uh, uh, total mix ration so that the roughage and concentrate they should be given at the same time so this sheet can help you uh, to calculate the amount of uh, nutrients which are available from the roughage component so this is a report uh, which we uh, worked on the working sheet for the formulation of the concentrate and then you can get uh, the inclusion levels and then the nutrient so if you are going to formulate a commercial concentrate diet which is particularly known as Vanda in uh, Bangladesh Nepal Pakistan India the indo pakistan continent so uh, these values uh, they are acceptable for uh, preparing a commercial diet but uh, from feeding point of view uh, this uh, diet if we uh, to if we have to fulfill all the dry matter intake from this concentrate so this diet is uh, uh, is providing more nutrient than the animal requirement then we should go for uh, formulating a tmr ration so uh, for formulating tmr first of all you have to look for the available uh, roughage component uh, like there is a sugar cane tops only they are available so how much quantity you are going to feed so keep in mind the best way is to have at least minimum of 30 percent roughage and 70 percent of the concentrate diet and uh, if you are using hay then again uh, keep in mind your tmr they should have at least 60 percent moisture content uh, so that could be uh, uh, sorry 60 percent dry matter content so that could be helpful for proper feeding of the animal so you can use uh, like in this example i am using the sugarcane tops even uh, in the sheet they have uh, hay uh, components you can use that uh, here you can see the millet stores that are loosen hay is there so if we are adding 30 kg of the loosen hay then again you can change the price then you can get what is available from this 30 kg of loosen hay or alfalfa hay so this is a roughage component now come to the next working sheet called tmr so here i have mixed uh, the own prepared vanda and then wheat straw uh, just to making a uh, TMR uh, like I have used the uh, sorghum hay or uh, loosen hay so better to going for uh, the wheat straw I should go for adding the loosen hay I have given 30 kg over there so this 60 kg is coming from the concentrate which we have prepared from this working sheet this working sheet so uh, you have to do one thing with this uh, because uh, this is uh, sometimes it's not required by all the person so there is uh, this is not a built-in function in the sheet it can be uh, incorporated over there so you have to consider this chemical composition and you have to add uh, the composition in the ingredient list uh, over here this is the vanda own so uh, if someone is required i can adjust it or with the uh, sheet but i think you should go for manually adding these stuff so that uh, error can be avoided uh, uh, look at this uh, is in this report there is uh, the dry matter content is 90.74 and here we have to add 90.47 then the protein content is 18.4 but the report of our concentrate is 19.28 so we have to go for adding 19.28 in this way you can add all the values uh, which are more important to you now uh, come back to the tmr sheet working sheet tmr so here you can have 60 and 30 60 from vanda and 30 from the lucent hay now look at this this tmr is giving us almost 80 percent dry matter 
uh, because this is a hay but if we have the green fodder of the same quantity like we are using maize towers then again there is a little difference in the uh, dry matter contents we are getting almost uh, 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 79 but uh, there is one error the quantity should be equal to 100 so uh, we should have 35 parts of maize straw and 65 parts of this so this is uh, the actual sheet now the dry matter uh, is 87.8 or in percentage basis uh, it become 87.68 uh, now uh, we can calculate the dry matter intake that is 18.57 so come to the point 18.57 now look at this okay, when we feed 18.57 of this the animal is getting 21 kg uh, the reason being uh, there is a fresh matter and 87.68 is the dry matter content so uh, we can reduce it into the 15 or uh, 16 kg uh, so almost uh, the available uh, dry matter content is 41.25 uh, uh, because we are adding the both uh, adding both values of the stuff so here uh, there is the amount of uh, fodder so you can uh, use this fodder into zero the reason being uh, why you are using it because we have added here in the tmr russian uh, that is over here if you are uh, feeding roughage green roughage uh, separately but if you are preparing uh, a concentrate then you have to give the value over here zero now this is what you are feeding 65 kg of one and 35 kg of the maids maize tower and you are getting the 100 value and this is the amount of uh, dry matter in the stuff if you are feeding 15 kg of this tmr or total mix ration you are getting these values so uh, the dry matter intake is little less but if you keep uh, your eyes on me cp calcium and phosphorus value so all they are more than the requirement then again you can go for little lower than the uh, dry matter intake values so that it can be uh, within a range uh, that can be acceptable without any loss of nutrient so here you can see the protein content they are little uh, in minus uh, the requirement is uh, more and the availability is less whereas the energy is still more so in this uh, in, such, in such situations uh, the priority should be given to uh, energy and protein both so that it can be balanced or you can change the concentrate ingredient composition so that you can get a balance over here here you can see the energy content is more so i will go back to the concentrate sheet and here we use this molasses as a source of concentrate i should go for uh, deleting the amount of like this bypass fat to 0.5 and this molasses into zero and now we have a margin of 3.5 so this 3.5 can come from uh, like this sunflower meal 8.5 so it become 100 now look at this uh, the protein uh, is still on the negative side it mean uh, when we have made, made make changes so that reduces the protein content so we can add a little bit more so uh, just by increasing the value of uh, intake from 14 to 14.5 you get almost a protein balance whereas the calcium phosphorus and energy is still more so it can be adjusted uh, from here uh, by changing the amount of dcp like we should go for having a dcp uh, to one whereas the calcium calcium carbonate uh, to four now look at the sheet here you can see there is a change in the calcium and phosphorus content phosphorus is 23.78 now i will change again uh, to zero so uh, it become a value uh, is almost uh, the same there is a little change in the amount of uh, phosphorus so it can be adjusted accordingly uh, by changing the content but if you look at this uh, feed cost by using this tmr it is only 36 percent of the milk value it means you are getting almost uh, more than 60 percent profit on your sale price of the milk so this is how this sheet is working if you have any question or you have any ambiguity uh, you may please ask you may send uh, me an email uh, to info at the rate of foodfeedinfo.com if you would like to purchase the sheet then again 
uh, it is requested to send your email to info at the rate of foodfeedinfo.com thank you for watching and thank you for your keen interest uh, in this excel sheet thank you